Before I talk about the scanner, I just want to say thank you to all the people that sent me messages asking if I'm okay. I know I said I was going to get this um, review done a few weeks ago, but obviously we've gone into lockdown now in New Zealand and I needed to shut down the CAF, the gallery, and take care of some other business. And my staff need to be taken care of first. So now we're about a week into the lockdown. Um, I'm going to be able to catch up on some reviews. I've got quite a few products to review, which have been sitting on the shelves for a few weeks or a few months actually. So there will be some more reviews coming out. I'm just not going to pick up anything and review it. I have quite a few amazing products I need to review. Now the first one is this, which is a slide scanner from Pacific Image. If you're not aware of what a slide is, it is a positive, not a negative. So you can actually see exactly what the image is if you hold up to light. Now obviously they come individual like this. So I'll talk about these slides in a minute. Let's talk about the scanner first. Now Pacific Image sent me this, um, which is the Power Slide X. Yes, Power Slide X. Now, I've already done a review on another Pacific Image scanner, which is their Power Film, which is a 35mm batch scanner. So basically, you put in a load of strips of 35mm film, up to 10 strips, and it will just batch scan them for you. So you can just switch it on, turn on the software in the computer, walk away, come back, and it's all done for you, which is really nice. If you've got a lot of negatives you want scanned, it's a really nice machine. I'll actually put a link to that video at the end of this video so you can check that one out as well. So Pacific Image sent me the scanner from Taiwan. Now, as with all my reviews, it's an honest review, it's what I think of it. So if it's not any good, I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, but to be truthful, Pacific Image do make really good scanners. Their power film scanner, I was quite impressed with and the results from it are really, really good. Now this is part one of a two part review. The reason I'm doing this in two parts, I'm gonna go over the features of the scanner, what it can do. And in part two, I'm gonna give you a real world review of the scanner. So I'm gonna use it for a couple of weeks. Now I actually have something that I purchased online in an auction to test the scanner with, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But it also gives you guys an opportunity to ask me any questions about the scanner, so I can include that in part two review. So if you have any questions or you want to know anything about the scanner, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to include that in the review coming in a couple of weeks. Now obviously I don't own any slides, I'm not that old. I found this collection of slides on an online auction, um, and basically this is a one year vacation to Europe, it's a New Zealand person, um, and he traveled through the whole of Europe basically, and he used a mini clubman. So this is his collection of photos. Um, there are over 800 slides here, and some of these places are amazing. You're talking East, West Germany, USSR, countries that don't even exist anymore are in these boxes, and he's actually named them, and left comments on them, and numbered them, and everything. So it's gonna make my life a lot easier. So the idea is to scan all of these slides with the Power Slide X. Um, so this would give me a really good opportunity to test the scanner and put it through its paces. And it'd be quite interesting to see what's here. And I've actually done some tests with some of these slides. You'll see some of these slides at the end of this video. After I finish the video, there'll be a short slideshow of some of these slides. So you will see the results and what this actual scanner can do at the end of this video. Let me put this back over there for a minute. So some of the other features of the scanner is it has multi sampling and multi exposure settings. So it means you can actually scan the slide several times to get the best out of it. Basically it gives you the more higher resolution and it gives you a more color depth bit to it. It will scan up to 10,000 by 10,000 DPI and 48 bit output. It also comes with Magic Touch software, which is a really good dust and scratch removal software. Now I tested this in the Power Film review, which will be linked at the end of this video, like I said earlier. So check that out if you wanna see how good that software is. Another nice feature it has is DNR, which is Digital Noise Reduction. Now I don't normally use those type of software in my scanning, because I like to keep a bit of noise in there. It takes away quite a lot of the noise, and I don't mind the noise of film, to be truthful. I'd rather keep that and have the sharpness and let something like DNR take over. It removes the noise, but it makes the images look quite soft. So this is the scanner. As you can see, it's quite big. It's not a small scanner, but it does sit nice in the desk and doesn't move around because it's got these very nice solid rubber feet on the bottom. Now on the back of the scanner, you have a USB 2 and a power socket, and on the side, you have a switch, which is here. And that's it really. So on the top you have a diagram on how to load the slides and how not to load the slides basically. And then also there's a warning there not to remove this cover while it's scanning. Now to load the tray is quite easy. You remove this dust cover and a protective cover as well. Obviously this will stop the dust getting inside the machine, but at the same time it will also protect the inside of the machine as well. You must make sure that the one is at the front of the tray and then this opening part goes inside. You just slide it in like that, lock the arm in, and away you go. 
and then you do everything from the software, the scanner will take over. Now I will cover all of this in part two of the review because I really want to test this scanner and put it through its paces basically. But as you can see, it's a really simple machine to use. Now, I put the dust cover and the protector back on. I think it's a really good idea when you store it obviously to keep this cover on there. Now the arm goes in there. Now on the front, you have quite a simple interface. You have a few buttons there. Um, you have the arm, which comes in and out. I can't seem to lock that in place. It would be nice if it was actually a lock, because when you move the scanner around, it just flaps out. But I'll look into that later on in part two. And then you've got a preview window here with a backlight. Then you put your slide in there to check it, and it will backlit so you can actually see what it is. And then you can load them into the tray. So as I said at the beginning of this video, part one is just an overview of the scanner to give you guys an idea of what it does and what it is. And then in part two, I will do a full review of the scanner. But this gives you an opportunity to ask me some questions that I may be able to include in part two. Now, do you want me to test this against my Epson V800 using the tray system that comes with the Epson scanners? I'm quite happy to do a side-by-side -side test with this and the Epson scanner to see the results and let you guys download those results in part two. If you want me to do that, please leave me a comment down below and I will try to include that in part two. Remember at the end of this video will be a slideshow um, with some of the slides I've got from this collection of 1964. Um, I have seen some of them and it's just an amazing world back then. And the guy did most of the trip in a mini Clubman, which is quite cool too. So that's gonna be at the end of this video. Remember to subscribe and hit that little bell icon and you'll get a notification in about two weeks on when part two, or well, the full review basically, part two, of the Power Slide X scanner from Pacific Images. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.